Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Author Journey. My name is CJ Anaya. Today we're going to talk about the technical aspects of publishing, a little topic on formatting. Um, I don't know anything about formatting a book in, in Word. In fact, I actually tried to learn how to do that and I was so frustrated that I was just like, this is not for me. Um, and when I purchased this writing software called Scrivener, I was really happy with it because you can format your paperback books with Scrivener and you can do it very quickly and format them into, you know, PDFs, Word documents, um, Mobi documents for Kindle, EPUB for Nook. Um, and so it, it just offers you such a wide variety of things that you can do. Um, and I've really had, it's it, obviously it's another software to learn and another program to learn. But for me, it was far easier to learn how to format books this way. The steps were just less complicated than having to change everything in Word. Um, so I really enjoy using Scrivener. What you're looking at right now is um, Amazon's um, publishing platform for paperback books. I'm currently in the... Um, the interior review phase for the Black Blossom. Um, and the reason why I'm redoing the paperback for this is simply because I'm actually redoing the cover. And um, I actually, when I did this, I didn't realize that, do, do you see the prologue page right here? I, I didn't realize that some of my chapter pages were actually ending up right here on this side. Um, so for example, before I, before I fixed this, this actually was on this side and generally to, to be correct, you want your, your chapters, the beginning of your chapters generally to be on this side of the page. And then I didn't have the, the numbers, right? So this was actually page four before I fixed it. Um, but I, the, and the thing is when I fix things and I learn new things and, and, you know, tweak and, and hack these little technical issues, I don't generally share them, mainly because I don't have any idea if you're struggling with it or not. But I have actually had a few friends as they've been uh, going through this process of self-publishing, learning how to format their own books on Scrivener, they've had questions about how to add blank pages into their books, um, their paperback books, so that this uh, the chapter headings will actually end up on the right side of the page. Um, and honestly, I, I didn't know how to do that and didn't realize that I hadn't done that um, very well or followed the rules until I started redoing all of my paperback books. So I want to show you how you can add an extra page. Um, and it's, a, it's the easiest thing ever, but I want to show you how to do it in Scrivener. So we're just going to start right here and we're going to go through. I haven't touched anything past the prologue. So we're going to take a look and see... Um, what we have here. So the prologue was on the right side, but see this, chapter one is not on the right side. So the way that we fix this is we go into Scrivener and this is my, my writing document. These are all of my chapters that I have for the Black Blossom, okay? And this is the prologue where it was on the right side of the page and chapter one was not on the correct side of the page, it was on the left side. So the way to do that is to just insert an extra page in between. Now this Scrivener program is for PCs. I know that it looks a lot different in Mac. In fact, I think that the Scrivener program for Macs is a little more advanced. You have a lot more options. It's easier to use. Um, sometimes I have to hack my way through things when I will look up things to try to figure out how to do stuff. <laughs> and I see the Mac version of it, but I don't see the PC. So, but this is, this is something I found in only one location and I want to make sure that people know about this. So hopefully this is at least another source where people can learn how to add a page here. But you just click the green button. It adds this extra blank page right here. And in order to actually make it register as a blank page, you kind of have to hit the enter button, put some spaces in there. You don't want to put any text in there, obviously, but if you hit your enter button and make sure that there are spaces in there, then, then Scrivener is going to recognize that that is an extra page. That is in fact an extra page. Um, and then you'll go back in. And what's gonna happen is generally, sometimes it's really hard to think, okay, I put in an extra page, so how is that gonna mess up the rest of my book? Um, as I go through now, if um, a chapter heading is on the right, or on the left side of the page, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna add an extra um, 
an extra page in there simply because by adding a page between the prologue and chapter one, that's going to fix any chapters that come after chapter one um, that are on this side. So just as an example, let's continue to chapter two and we'll see what side chapter two ends up being on right now. Okay, so see how chapter two is still on this side. I'm not going to add an extra page in between chapter one and chapter two. It's unnecessary because the extra page that I put between the prologue and chapter one is automatically going to move chapter two over as well to the right side of the, of the book, um, right hand side. Now, if we encounter a chapter that's on the left hand side right now, that's when we're going to have to, again, add another page. So now I'm hoping that three is on the right side so that we don't have to keep, oh, yay, okay, oh, it worked. So see how this is on the right side. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do, since three is not on the left side and it is on the right side, that extra page that I just inserted in there between the prologue and the first chapter, that's going to push this, this right here to this side. So to counteract that, we're gonna go back into Scrivener. We're gonna go to chapter two and make sure that we add another blank page between chapter two and chapter three, okay? And that's going to fix this issue and make sure that this stays on this side. So now, now that we've done that, we've added an extra page, anything from this point on, we're going to do differently. So. Now, if the next chapter is on this side of the page, we keep it, we keep it that way. So I'll show you again, just so that you can kind of see the pattern that you do. This is gonna, by using this rule of thumb, it's gonna prevent you from having to add a page, add two pages, um, and then format it, upload it, see what it looks like, and then see how many more other pages you have to add. If you can just kind of follow this pattern, you should be able to add the blank pages throughout the entire thing having to only do it once, maybe twice, upload it, check it, make sure it looks right. Um, instead of having to add one page, format, upload, see what else you've got to do. Um, okay, so see, this is also still on this right side. So, so since three was on the right side and four is on the right side, we don't need to add another page break. If we find that five is not on the right side, then we're gonna have to add another page, another blank page. So we'll just check and see where five is any second now. I feel like I need to be playing Jeopardy music. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so five's right here. Wasn't on the same side as, as chapter four was, so we're gonna have to add another blank spot between chapter four and chapter five. So we just go in, click on that, hit edit a couple of times. And then the pattern begins again. Any chapter after this point, if it's on this side of the page, we won't need to fix. If we find a chapter on this side of the page, we are gonna need to fix it. So we'll keep going again. We want, we want the rest of the chapters to be on this side though, so that we don't have to keep adding pages, but we'll see. Dun, 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 dun. I'm kidding, I'm really not gonna do that every single time. Okay, so since this is on this side instead of this side, we're gonna have to add another page in between there, okay? So hopefully you, you kind of understand what I'm, what, what I'm doing here, okay? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole thing, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of that. You just you basically just insert a page in between chapters in your Scrivener right here, okay? Just like just like I'm doing. And uh, and and that will fix any problems that you might have. If you're worried about how to get the the numbers correct because an an odd number should always be on this side, even should be on that side. The way you do that is you just go into compile right here. Click on page settings, and then um, you click that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, well, it was already clicked for you, but basically 
not on page one, and then, but, so both of these need to be checked. So you're not gonna see any counting. You're not gonna see one on page one. It'll start counting on page two, page three. Um, and, it, and, and then that will help you get the, the odd numbers on the, on the right side, the even numbers on the left side. This helps you as far as what the margins are gonna be. This is generally a default setting so for the top and bottom of the pages. Um, usually though, I will come in here and, and I'm showing you this right now because a lot of people, when, when, they, when they do this, it's usually eight by 11. And that's the default for Scrivener, but you don't want that. When you're doing a book on, on Create Space, it needs to be six by nine, unless you're creating a, a completely different size book. So you'll need to get on Create Space and see what kind of like the sizes of books that you're allowed to do. But standard usually is, is six by nine. Um, and that's gonna give you the right proportions there, okay? Um, so that that's just kind of a, a quick and easy tutorial. Uh, if you don't have Scrivener, I really highly recommend that you get it uh, because it's so, it's so easy. You you know you you just have a page. You've got your your copyright there, title page. I'm gonna fix that by the way because this is I hate that font. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Um, your prologue and this is where you can just type and go. You just you just free write and go. Um, it's set up really nicely, and then you can compile everything. You can have your cover here. It, it's just really, really cool. And you can also look at it through like kind of a cork board thing. Like if you wanted to put note cards right here, virtual note cards where you can outline scenes and things like that, it's, that's really cool too. So anyways, lots of, lots of options for you to use. It's available for PC and Mac. I'll have a link down below in the description box where you can go and, and purchase it if you don't have it already. But hopefully... Um, if you do have it, then, and you didn't know about this extra page thing and how to format the right way so that your chapter headings were on the right side, um, now you know, and hopefully that was clear enough. So uh, thank you so much for your questions. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Uh, comment if you have any more questions um, or if you also have suggestions. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I don't know. This is just the way that I do it. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you're new so you can join our family. And, uh, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, bye-bye.